So you want to be in a Hollywood movie, but the problem is, is you're not in Hollywood and you're not in movies. Well, you're in luck. I'm going to show you how to put yourself into a Hollywood movie. Prior to this point in time, somewhere in the past, the timeline skewed into this tangent. In order to put the universe back as we remember it and get back to our reality. Hey, why don't we just turn off auto ripple? Now, I wouldn't try this unless you've got a professional editing software, some nice filming lights, and some decent camera and a decent green screen. If you don't have those, don't leave. This is still a fun project to learn about, and I won't be getting too technical here. I do make Vegas tutorials, so the nitty gritty of each will be explored there. So first, you need to pick a movie. Preferably, pick one that gives you some natural setup. Perhaps a character looks over his shoulder with no explanation. Whatever your inspiration is, make sure that you're doing this with the rights for fair use. I'm no legal expert, so take this with a grain of salt, but here's my rules of thumb. Keep it super short. Make sure it's clearly added to and made your own in some way. Don't do anything that would defame the movie or subjects. And don't do anything that would detract from the movie sale. If your post is going to keep people from seeing or buying the movie because you show too much, don't post it. Don't like those guidelines? Tough cookies. It's not your movie. I might get this video copyright struck. Who knows? If you're okay with that risk, gather your source material into an editor. Don't be afraid to heavily alter it to make your effect work. Here, I cut up the whole conversation into two sound bites. Somewhere in the past, the timeline skewed into this tension. Make your cuts on the action. You can be sure that the original editor hid his or her cuts by cutting on the action. And if you don't hide yours, it will disillusion the audience. That's actually two very, very different sections of the video I cut together with him sliding the chalk along the chalkboard. Next, you need to figure out exactly where you're going to stand. Judge the lighting. Judge the angles. Judge the colors. Remember, you need to act like you're in the world too. Where will you be looking? Where will the shadows hit you? Once you know all the answers to that, set up a green screen and set up your lights and go ahead and film yourself in front of the green screen. If you need a tutorial, I'll have that up soon. But uh, notice I'm standing kind of far away from the green screen. That's so there's not a green sheen on my shoulder. Notice I have light coming from the wrong side because I actually had to flip everything later because I film myself backwards. So don't do that. You can flip yourself though around if you need to. I mirrored it. Here you have it all coming to a consistent angle with what the video is supposed to need. He's This is all being side lit from a window and uh, somewhat fill lit from the front so I made sure I added those. I should have in hindsight added more fill light on my face uh, because there is a shot where Marty leans back and is much more side lit. He is very side lit there but if I had just if I had just a little bit more fill light the effect would have been sold a little bit better also make sure none of your lights actually cast shadows on the green screen itself if you have a lot of shadows on your green screen i.e. this side of the green screen here that I'm not using if you have shadows on it it will make the green different colors if it's different colors you'll have a hard time keying it out because you'll have to key out a lot broad spectrum of green which you'll start keying out parts of your face and stuff as well you should mask out the parts of the green screen you don't need and set it on top of the video clip that you need to do so this will be the bottom layer will be the video clip you're overlaying on and then the next layer will be the green screen then you need to chroma key, mask out what's not being chroma keyed and then move yourself with the event pan crop tool or whatever your editor's tool is to where you're on the side and part of the frame that you need to be on like I said I had to flip mine because I did it backwards once you've done that then you can do your chroma key now you're in the room the thing is is you need to be in the room with some sort of depth so and mask out the part that needs to be in front of you and place that on top of you so it'll give you an illusion of depth in the shot now once you have that you'll be in the shot but you'll notice that you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb because you've been shot with different lights different colors different cameras all sorts of things you're lucky you're even looking the right direction because you weren't there so to fake being there you can add some effects uh, I leveled it to where I made myself darker like I was in some sort of a dark room and to overall flatten the lighting on my face I color balanced it because uh, I 
definitely needed it to be more red, but I also added 25% black and white to kind of really help the color grading us. There's a whole lot of ways to skin this cat. This is just a quick way that I did it. And then I added some Gaussian blur because I'm really too sharp looking to be there on this internet ripped footage I have. Uh, I'm not, I'm shot on a 4K camera. They were shot on a film camera in the 80s and then that film camera was moved to DVD. Then that DVD was ripped on the internet. Then I ripped it down from the internet and I'm Kodaking it again. So this has been abused. I need to actually degrade my footage to kind of match it a little better. Now I'm in the film itself and I have made it into the movie. You can see there that the mask isn't perfect. That's because I'm a little lazy. If you want to cut away to yourself at any other point, what you'll need to do is also have that same shot on a green screen and green screen it out and do all the same color effects to that shot and everything. That way you'll still look like you're the same person in the same shot here and there. When you do that too, you'll need to grab some sort of a background. What I did is I grabbed the background from another part of the source shot and then just put a still shot behind it and so I'm only standing in front of it for a few seconds. What this does is it works to sell the illusion that I'm standing in the same room when I say this after you've seen me in context in the same room together. And that is how you cut yourself into a Hollywood film. If you want to know more about the green screen, masking, and overlays, and really any of this, subscribe, because that's what we do here on Tech Dive AV Club. Like if this video made you chuckle, and I'll see you next time. This has been Adam with Tech Dive AV Club.